Hey y'all, it's your boy Elwin Easy, and I'm back again with another video. Today, I wanted to do a devotional video for you guys, highlighting four bullet points on why it may seem that God either may not be listening to us, He's not hearing our prayers, or why He's not answering them in a time that we may like for Him to answer them in. And so, I just want to dive in, and there's a few scriptures that I want to also use to support these kind of things, and just hopefully it will encourage you all to uh, keep with it, and also know that God's sovereign in all that He does, and He's faithful to answer uh, when we do things the right way, in obedience. So, let's just dive into it. The four points. Let's start with number one. The first being God's will. And we have to understand something. Um, God is all-knowing and He's sovereign and He's righteous in all that He does. So when we go to Him, we need to really approach Him as that God. And it's not like, oh, we can just ask for things and, you know, God's our servant, da-da-da-da. Like, we're a servant of God. So we need to be faithful to our Master and understand that what He says uh, is for our, our, our good and um, for, for our well-being. So, one person once told me, when you ask for something, God usually answers in one of three ways. He'll either say yes, no, or wait. I always thought, like, what? Like, that's kind of strange. And then he broke it down to me. So, it's like, yes. Like, if something is in God's will and you're praying for it, he'll just grant you that. And you see that within uh, answered prayer. And you see it immediately. And it's like, wow, that's great. And, you know, and he does that sometimes. And you see that. Uh, sometimes he'll say no, and it's just really, that's not in my will for you, my child. I, I know better than you, I can see right now, uh, because I see everything and I know everything, so you really have to just trust that this really isn't for you. And lastly, uh, maybe, and he'll say, you know, yes, this, oh, sorry, not maybe, wait. Uh, so he'll say, you know, yes, that, that's my will for you, my child, but... This isn't the time for it right now, and you're just going to have to be patient and wait for it. And then I've seen in my life, personally, that there are times where like, I pray for something, and it's like, ah, oh, it didn't happen. And then God gave me that response of wait. And then years down the line, or months down the line, or whatever the time was, it was just so much greater than I would have experienced if I had just gotten that prayer that I wanted right there and then. So He knows what's best for us. And he's always going to be faithful to us, and, and we just have to trust that. So, the next one being, we need to be persistent. And I'll say that with also some supporting scripture of persistency. A lot of times, when we pray for something, we pray for it once, and then we give it away, and we're just like, alright, that's whatever. Uh, but God wants us to actually be engaged and continuing to press on to that. If it's something that's a, a righteous prayer... Uh, he doesn't want you to just give up. Continue to ask, and he'll be faithful to, to provide that. And so I love this parable that he gave us uh, when he spoke of a persistent friend and, like, how, although the friend was like, you know, initially, no, I, I want to do this, you know, this is not going to happen, the persistency of the, the person really urged them to really come to that person's need. So this is in Luke. 11, if you all want to turn with me, Luke 11, 5 to 8, it says, Then he said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend, and goes to him at midnight, and says to him, Friend, lend me three loaves, for a friend of mine has come from a journey, and I have nothing for him to set before him. And from inside he answers and says, Do not bother me, the door has already been shut, my children are in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, yet because he is persistent, he will get up and give him as much as he needs. So I believe God told us this. Jesus told us this because we need to be knowing that when we're persistent, it kind of shows God our heart that we really, really want this. And God's awesome, and He's righteous, and, and He's He's good for us, and He knows what we need. And if He sees our heart that we are really, like, diligently, persistently praying for this, He's faithful to honor that. 
Alright, the next point being, <laughs> I thought this was funny, uh, we played Ding Dong Ditch, and I'll explain more of that. So, there are two scriptures that I found where, you know, God tells us to knock on his door, basically, and it will be opened. And a lot of times we play Ding Dong Ditch with God. So, I'll just go into the scripture first, and then I'll explain later. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the first scripture is Matthew 7, 7. And let's just dive right in. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who, receive, who, who asks, receives. He who seeks, finds. And him who knocks, it will be opened. Or what man... Is there among you whom when his sons ask for loaves, he gives them a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, gives him a snake, will he? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give what is good to those who ask him? And there's also uh, another scripture uh, right after the uh, parable of the persistent friend in Luke 11, Luke 11, 9, which uh, very similarly says, So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who seeks, finds. He who knocks, it will be opened. Now suppose one of your fathers is asked by his son for a fish. Will you not give him a snake instead of a fish, will he? Or if he asks for an egg, will he give him a scorpion? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those whom ask him? And so in this one, it's asking for the Holy Spirit. If you're asking for, for what's righteous, his ultimate gift to us, the Holy Spirit, um, to, to always re, uh, reside in us, of course he's going to give that to him. There's so many sinful people out here that give their kids all the stuff that they want. God is so much greater and more righteous than that. So, of course, we come to him in that heart. He's going to give it to us. So, um, the whole thing of knocking and it will be opened. Again, I say, a lot of the times we play Ding Dong Ditch. And I don't know if you all remember that game. But back when I was little, I used to play that game where you knock on somebody's door and you'd run away. And they'd come out and they're like, who's that? And you do it again. And they're, like, and they're like going crazy because they're like... Like, who's there and like there's nobody there so I feel like a lot of the time when we knock on God's door knock 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 um, when God's about to come to open the door and answer us we're running away uh, either in sin or we just turn away from him in disobedience and we need to be staying with him if we're asking him for something we really need to understand that God's faithful to answer us but we got to stick with him, and we got to be following him, and not running away in the bushes cowardously uh, when he's about to answer our prayers in a very great, powerful, mighty way. So that's that. And uh, lastly, my point is asking with the wrong motives. So this, actually, I found in James 4, if you want to turn there. James 4, 3. It says, you ask and you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives so that you may spend it on your pleasures. And sometimes when we pray to God, our hearts are always in the right place. And so God is very faithful to answer us and to really fulfill what we need if we come to him with the right heart. When we're asking for things from God, we need to understand that all things are to glorify Him. And if we're asking for things selfishly or just in the wrong place, not glorifying Him, not helping others, not really expanding the kingdom, He may not give that to you because it's just really not of Him and it's not of His will. So we need to be mindful of that, that when we do come in that right way, He will be faithful to, to give. And when we ask, we will receive. So those are my four bullet points. I'll go over them quickly again. One reason why it may seem that God is answering your prayers in a time of fashion is His will. Everything is according to His will. And if it's in or outside of His will, He'll make that known to you uh, in the response of how you ask. Uh, two, being persistent. We need to understand that if we want something from God, 
it's in his will and it's righteous, we need to be persistent. Also, stop playing ding dong ditch. If you're gonna knock on God's door, stick around and receive the blessing. Don't run away in disobedience and miss it all. And lastly, uh, ask with the right motives. If you're asking with the wrong motives, he's really not going to be faithful to that because that's not of him and we need to correct that in our hearts uh, and bring that back to him with the right motives so that we're ultimately glorifying him and that he is pleased in us. Uh, thank you so much for just listening to the video, watching it in the comments, state your thoughts, anything like that. Give me some encouragement, some prayer, I could use it all. I hope you all were blessed by it and encouraged. Just know that God is faithful to you and you're faithful to him. And he's just always so good to us. Thank you so much. Peace out. God bless you. I love you. Out.